How to use Google AI Studio. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Google AI Studio, a powerful tool by Google that lets you create and experiment with AI models without writing complex code. Whether you're a beginner or a developer exploring AI, this tool makes it super easy to get started. So make sure to watch this video till the end and let's get started. First, open any web browser of your choice, Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, or whichever you prefer. Now in the search bar, type Google AI Studio and hit enter. Click on the official website link that appears, or you can go directly by typing ai.google.dev studio, or simply aistudio.google.com in the address bar. Once you're inside Google AI Studio, the first thing you'll see is a prompt asking for your consent. Simply click on I consent and then I accept to proceed. So what exactly is Google AI Studio? Well, it's a free web-based platform developed by Google that allows users to experiment and interact with Google's latest generative AI models, including the powerful Gemini models. It's designed with simplicity and accessibility in mind, making it a great tool not just for experienced developers, but also for beginners who are just starting to explore the world of AI. You can think of Google AI Studio as your personal AI sandbox, a place where you can test out prompts, learn how different models respond, and even prototype potential applications using AI. Now, once the website loads, you'll be greeted by a clean and simple interface. Let's take a quick walkthrough of how it looks and what you can do here. At the center of the interface, you'll find the main prompt box. This is where you can type in your instructions or questions for the AI model. On the left-hand side, you'll see a menu where you can choose which Gemini model you want to use. Google provides access to different versions of Gemini, and each model comes with its own unique strengths and capabilities depending on your needs. For example, if you're working on more advanced tasks or want faster response times, you might choose a higher tier Gemini model. If you're just experimenting or learning, a basic model would be perfect to start with. Now let's talk about some of the key settings you'll find within the interface. These settings give you control over how the AI behaves and how creative or focused its responses will be. For example, you'll find options like temperature. This controls the randomness or creativity in the AI's responses. A higher temperature means more creative answers, while a lower temperature results in more focused and predictable output, max output tokens. This limits how long the AI's response can be. The higher the number, the more detailed or lengthy the answer. Depending on the task, you might also see additional options like top K and top P sampling, or even thinking budget settings for more advanced use cases. Once you've familiarized yourself with the settings, let's try your first AI prompt. In the main prompt input area, go ahead and type something simple, like write a short poem about a robot. Before running it, make sure you've selected a Gemini model from the dropdown. The default model is usually a great place to start, but you can also try others like Gemini 1.5, Gemini 2.0, Gemini 2.5, or the latest preview model, depending on what's available. Now you can also adjust the input and output sections. Let's say you set your input length to 15 tokens, just enough for a short and sweet request. Once you're happy with your prompt and settings, click the Run button. The AI's response will appear in the output area right below. In this case, you should see a short poem generated about a robot. Pretty cool, right? You can keep experimenting by trying different prompts, tweaking the temperature, or switching to other Gemini models to see how the results vary. Now that you've seen how to generate a simple poem, let's explore the other powerful capabilities of Google AI Studio. This platform isn't just for writing poetry. It supports a wide range of task types like text generation, code generation, chat interactions, translations, summaries, and more. Let's start with code generation. In the prompt area, you can ask the AI to generate code in different programming languages. For example, type, write a Python function to calculate the factorial of a number. The model will respond with working code, and you can even test different languages like JavaScript, Go, or Kotlin by specifying it in the prompt. Next, let's move to the chat mode. Some Gemini models offer support for conversational interactions, similar to having a dialogue with an assistant. Look for options like chat, stream, or assistant mode on the interface. These modes are designed for back and forth conversations, and they make interacting with the AI feel much more natural. 
There are also starter templates and demos built into the platform, such as image generation, beauty content creation, app starter templates, and more. Some features, like image generation or file-based tasks, may require access to your Google Drive. If prompted, simply allow the required permissions and select your account to continue using those features. Another impressive tool is the translation function. You can ask the AI to translate text from one language to another. Lastly, let's talk about saving your work. Google AI Studio allows you to save your prompts and AI responses. Look for the Save or History option, usually located at the top or side of the interface. This helps you revisit your previous experiments or keep track of effective prompts you've used. Once you're inside Google AI Studio, you can start saving your actual work. For example, I've saved my prompt here, and I've given it a custom name for easy reference. One of the coolest features is that you can share your saved prompts with others. Google AI Studio generates a shareable link, making it easy to collaborate or showcase your creations. If you're curious about what else you can do, don't forget to explore the built-in examples and documentation. Google provides plenty of sample problems, so you can see the true potential of these AI models. And if you're looking to dive deeper, the official documentation offers advanced tips, usage guides, and best practices to take your AI skills even further. So, congratulations. You've just taken your first step into the exciting world of generative AI using Google AI Studio. Whether you're generating text, writing code, or exploring creative prompts, the possibilities are endless. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments what you think about this powerful tool from Google. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.